Welcome back to Dash of Salt plays Binding of Isaac. Afterbirth, I'm gonna try another Lilith run, our last one. I didn't, to be fair, I got decent familiars, but no good items. So I don't think yeah. it's my fault. Plus you were kind of scrounging for consumables. Yeah. So here's our seed, 3HP3S8TM. You know, feel free, if you have this game, feel free to play along and <laughs> if you can, Wow, that guy is hurting himself. I've barely done any damage to him. Don't don't complain. I'm All enemies should be this good. Wow, he... I think I hit Sloth once, maybe twice. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Oh, troll bomb. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> wow. Let me get rid of the poop. But yeah. Nah, whatever. I mean, if I end up with four cents and I need to scrounge, I'll deal with it. Gotcha. But right now, as usual, I'm looking for a bomb so I can bust into this tender rock. Come on. So, how was your <laughs> day? <laughs> I don't know. I've been staring oh at this my ladder God. with wings. Come on. There you go. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. A red heart I can't pick up. Thanks, game. You really know how to do it for me. <laughs> just, that, that is some spite right there. You know... I don't know what it is about Lilith, but I've been really trying to. There we go. Hey, the turtle heart. Get going. Good. I should be able to keep that. There we go. And spirit hearts. You know, I'm gonna leave them for now. Why? Uh, no reason to waste spirit hearts that I can grab for the. I'm not gonna. If I get hit on the boss or something, I'd rather lose what I've got now. Oh, okay. Okay. Spidey does. You? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, why stick around if yeah. you don't have to? That is a neat little trick I learned, is that if you're... If you've already cleared a room, and you pop open uh, for spiders, you can still leave. Tinted rock. Yeah, I don't have a bomb. Get a bomb. I, Okay, I'll get right on it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to give helpful There advice. we go. Okay, I was just looking for the item room, really. Hey, a bomb. Okay. See? What is that? The parasite's good enough. Split shot. Okay, it, it, you know what? I don't know what's up with Lilith. It, Other than just kind of a weird character. She doesn't get, yeah, she doesn't get a lot of the stuff. The parasite usually has, lit, you know, I'm just going to take these. I'm not going to get hit that much. Um, the parasite has like an actual like bug sitting on top of your head. But she doesn't but get that. But she doesn't get that. Oh, I sh Okay, good. I did get the battery charge. Wow, that's a lot of health. The game's trying to help me a little. Yes. Like, it's not totally screwing me. Okay, so Parasite, that's why this low shot split off. Gotcha. I didn't really need Box of Friends for Pim, but whatever. God, I'm, this is such an homage to an old Zelda Yeah, boss. is that what it is? It's the sandworm one. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the sandworms from uh, Link to the Past. Which, great game. That was my first Super Nintendo game ever. There we go. Range plus shot speed up. That's good. That's your first Super Nintendo game? Well, okay, so what, what an introduction. Yeah, I know, right? Well, what had happened was when I was a kid, my grandparents and my dad had made an agreement. They're like, if you get him a Super Nintendo, we'll get him a game. Okay. Wow. So, but what happened was I went to my grandparents first. So I opened it up, and they gave, and it was Legend of Zelda, but I didn't have a Super Nintendo. And I'm like, oh, this is that thing where a family member gets you a game for a system you don't own. Oh, you thought you got fucked. Yeah, and, I'm like, <laughs> yeah and I was like, oh, I really want to play this. I guess I can play this with my buddies. Else, but I didn't want my grandparents to feel bad, because it's like... They're, Thanks, they're, Grandpa. Yeah, they were like in their 50s. Why would they know the difference between Nintendo and Super Nintendo, you know? Yeah, everyone over... 34 is retarded. Exactly. Well, no, like, at uh, that time, obviously. it was like, they weren't gonna know. They they would just call it the video game oh, most yeah. of the time. The game station. Yeah, exactly. So then it was like, well, I'll play when I get to my friend's house. No big deal. And then, like, I got to my dad's place, like, later on that day, and he had a Super Nintendo waiting for me. And I was like, sweet. Oh, shit. But, of course... Like, he didn't get me yeah. the two-player controller version that came with Super Mario World, so I just had Legend of Zelda. Actually, coincidentally, I never beat it. There you go, Stigmata. You never... Whoa, 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 No, no, whoa, no, whoa. there was a reason for it. 
my cartridge had a flaw where the battery you know how like it had like the save? save yeah, yeah it actually saved it would things. randomly fail and i would lose all my saves holy shit. so and i mean literally all the saves on the cartridge so it would it would be like I would get, like, the third crystal of the Dark World, come back to it the next day, and it'd be like... I'm so sorry. You have nothing! And I'm like, I don't have it in me right now to go, like, start again and play. So that's the thing, is I would just come back to it every once in a while and try to beat it quick enough, but it would be like, Alright, yeah, you got to the fifth crystal this time. I'm just gonna erase all of your saves. <laughs> it's like, great. That's great. So yeah, I never beat it as a kid because I just had a flawed that copy. That sucks. You know what? When I first got a PlayStation... Yeah. I don't know... Wow, I'm surprised I'm not doing more damage to these guys. I don't know what it is about what happened, but I got a third-party video uh, memory card. Oh, yeah. And I had Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. And for some reason, it would not save on this memory card. Really? It kept corrupting the save or something. Oh, every time. that sucks. And, yeah, and so... Okay, that's great. If you could only shoot me once ever, that'd be fantastic. Is that poop? That is poop. It's like, there's a 50% chance of getting a coin from poop. Are you wearing a box? Uh, yeah. What is Mom's that? knife! Sure! Stab, stab, stab. That is really good. Uh... It's kind of crappy aiming it with the incubus, but obviously I'll take it. Did okay, so this as a this looks like a winning run. I've got HP, I've got good mom's knife, which is great damage. I've yeah. got money, I've got decent amount of consumables. Uh, are you gonna go for the stone box there? Come on, really? I'm gonna say yes. It's all hagas. And Jera. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, destroy Smart all that, plan. Come back, take the Yara. Is it Yara or Jera? I think it's Yara. You know what, that's one of the things you gotta love about dealing with English. It's so do the letters sound like they're supposed to sound, or some crazy other version of their sound? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I remember when I read. Um, is it Jera or Yigger Fergo Yeah. What was what was that book? It was Heinlein's first novel, and it did it. He didn't publish it because it wasn't very good. Oh, uh, for us the living. Yeah, for us the living. And they have. Um, what is this for fifteen cents? Oh, I think that does a random pill effect. Ooh. Yeah. That's a dangerous proposition. I'm not getting rid of Box of Friends, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll take. Yara, it's probably better than uh, the Empress. Yeah. Probably. But when uh, when it shows that like in the future they get rid of like all the weird English spelling of things and everything's just spelled phonetically. Oh, is it? Yeah, like I didn't realize it was phonetic. I, I, I the only thing I remember from that is Heinlein was pro Social Security or yeah or a, a pro a like ma minimum national income. Yeah, that was what it was. It was that crazy, like, everyone gets 150 bucks, and then, like, if you do other stuff... You can make more money. You can make more money, but everyone is secure in that sense. And it was like, well, that's an interesting idea. Let's see someone actually <sighs> implement it. Um, or our government actually implement it. Sure. Nice. Sure. So, uh... Oops! Oh, Shit. Uh, well, it's all, they're on a straight line in this Zelda-esque room. Um... Uh, Oh, you have flies now. What? Uh, rotten baby. Gotcha. Have flies. And the flies do the damage of your... Oh, fuck. I got this track. Of whatever your damage... Yeah, which is them. awesome with... With mom's, mom's knife. knife, yeah. But you know what's funny is with anybody else, I'd be like, all right, I've won this run. I had enough health and everything, but with fucking Lilith, I can't line the fucking... Sh Are you kidding me? The same... Literally the same room. room. Please oh. be a really please be an item that generates health. Ooh, nice dodge. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, so everything was spelled like phonetically, or they took out like the extra letters in it. So like the word suck wouldn't have a C. It would just be S U K. -K. I, 
like that. I mean, that's But how... it was weird having oh. to read it for the first time because it just looked like first graders oh. not being able to spell. You know, like, I, I read it okay, but I'm like, this looks dumb. <laughs> no. I mean, it was still worth rolling through all that. Yeah, I hear you. Even if I'm not going to use yeah. it. Looked like lead, no, uh, not lead speak, like, uh, text speak. Oh, like, LOL and stuff? Yeah, it just reminded me of that a little too much. I forgot why we got on that topic, actually. I don't know. I got too absorbed in, like, looking English. over the... Uh huh? <laughs> Fuck English, basically. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember as a kid, it's like, sound out the word. All right, well, the letters don't do that this time. It's like, well, then why'd you tell me to sound it out? Other than tell me I was wrong. I had kind of a mean first grade teacher. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> no, no, she, no, she was like, I went to, like, a Catholic school in the first grade, and the nun was, like, not one of those nice nuns. It was, like, one of those nuns that, like... The old lady nun stereotype? Yeah, like, that's kind of like, are you that's sure no you're on the side of angels? Because I'm kind of not getting that vibe. Damn. She was. She put me in the corner on my fucking birthday, man. Like... No, but she was mean. Like, she was just an angry lady. She got fucking butthurt at one of the girls in class. Like... We were learning the different kind of words, like adjective, verbs, nouns, all that stuff. Okay. And, like, one of the girls, like, the mousiest, shyest girl in class, by the way, uh, just didn't get it. Like, clearly didn't get it. And so, she asks her, it's like, okay, what kind of word is run? And she's like, it's a noun? And she's <laughs> like, oh, it's a noun. Give me so, a run. She puts her hand out in front of her. She's like, give me a run. Go on. Put a run in my hand right now. And the girl's like. What a bitch. Yeah. I'm, the There's girl's no like. no other word for that. Yeah. Like, she really had, like, this whole, like. The girl, like, she wanted to just crawl under her desk and cry forever. Um, and she was kind of like that with just everybody. Like, when she got fed up with something, it was pretty much like, all right, that's it. I'm going to make your life miserable now. Damn, man. That's what I'm saying. Oh, hey, okay. the goat head. That was worth it. He accepts your offering. But yeah, so no, I didn't like her. Most, most like, parents, when I talked to them, like, later on, were like, yeah, we sent our kids there, then we found out that the teachers were assholes. <laughs> Ironically, though, uh, and this is one of those things that I kind of learned, like, growing up, was, like, the teachers were kind of mean, but the principal was, like, super nice. Huh. Uh, I, like, I knew her personally because, like, she sang in the church choir with my grandmother. Oh, that's a nice little... Yeah, so, like, she knew me by name and everything like that. It was always, like, super nice and polite, but it was, like, one of those things, like, when you're a kid and you're going into school, you don't really know what it's like, and you only have... I thought that was a dick. When I looked <laughs> at it, like, it looks <laughs> like... a big a, old floppy donkey dick. It does! It's like a dick with, like, the balls in the back. Look at it! It's a dick! It is exactly what I needed. It, you needed some dick in your life? Okay. <laughs> what is that? Nod leaf. Oh. I now have a tanuki tail. Really? I turned into oh, a statue. Oh, that's if you stand awesome! Still for three Fucking seconds. Mario three. Yeah. Let's now, get back to the part where you said you want a dick in your life. It's. A, I didn't say I want a dick in my life. I said you well, needed it. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Look, you're misconstruing my words. <laughs> your words about the dick that you needed. Shut up. <laughs> oh hey. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have petrified poop. I should be popping all this. You should pop all the poop. Because there's like a 50% chance of there actually being something good in it. Oh, that's good. I forgot, though. But like, so like all... Because I, I didn't have older siblings. So like mm -hmm. all I really knew about school was like shit I saw on Nickelodeon. So it, and like whenever I saw anything on TV, it was always the teachers were nice and the principal was like this evil overlord that's going to send you to detention for like blinking at the wrong moment. Gotcha. And then I went to school, and it was, like, the literal exact opposite, where it was, like, all the teachers were kind of mean, and were just, like, just super bitchy most of the time. But then the principal was, like, this angel who was just, like, a really nice lady. I'm like, 
Oh, life isn't like it says on TV. <laughs> that was your realization moment? Well, to be fair... I mean, you were pretty young. To be yeah, fair. I was... Like, we're talking kindergarten, first grade. That feels like the appropriate age for that. It's like, wait, what do you mean the Ninja Turtles aren't real? I... They're right there on the television, right after the news. The news is real. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah. It's weird when you like you go back, you have to think about like those little moments where it's like, at one point you didn't know the most basic of shit, like that run is not a noun. You have to learn that. Yeah, you never really think about it. Yeah. Oh, two cents. I didn't even get my money back from that bomb. That's a shame. Oh, well. You can go a uh, different room, okay. Okay, should have saved that bomb. Oh, well. Uh, well, you might get another one. Go up. That's you might get a bomb. where I'm going. Well, I gotta go through the rest of this floor anyways. Fair enough. You are doing some good damage, though. Yeah, absolutely. Um, actually, what's really funny is Nod Leaf with any other character yeah. would be like a guaranteed win. Because worst case, because usually you hold it. Who the hell is Angel of Death? Uh, Kenny? Oh, Kenny! Oh, we should get him on here at some point. Yeah, sure, why he not? He would love it. Uh, I don't know. He's kind of shy. Yeah, but, you know, give him a couple drinks. Yeah, <laughs> that would work. Kenny, just come here, man. Just sit in front of this microphone and talk stupid shit. You're not gonna put it on YouTube. Nah, dude, no. <laughs> no, nah, man, nah. Who do you think we are? Come on. Uh, come on. Next day, like, thousand views. Hey, Kenny! You're fucking hit! <laughs> oh, on, man. Another dead end. Just like my life, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that got dark really fucking quick. Could you imagine there was, like, a YouTuber like that? It was like... Okay, oh, and I fell down in a pit, just like that emotional pit my parents left me in with, like, when they put me up for adoption. It's like, whoa, oh, whoa. Uh, too real, dude. All right, so I think I, the room that I wanted. <laughs> just was... the emo is fucking, like, yeah. <laughs> the YouTuber ever. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. That That's some good it. bombs. Yeah, that's totally worth it. All right, so now, is there anything I want from my shop? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about this. Yes. You know, today we're going to play a little Far Cry 4, you know, and it's a far cry of a chance that I'll actually find love in this life. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> there we go. To be fair... Sorry, donation machine. To be fair... I guarantee you, like, people would watch the shit out of that. Yeah. Just to hear what the guy... Especially, like, gothy kids. And, well, I don't even know if goth is even still around Dude, anymore. Goth, yeah, what are... Who are goth kids anymore? Well, you know what? I actually did some digging on this a little bit. Because I was kind of like... Because mm -hmm. growing up... Another growing up story, I know. Yeah, fun. But growing up, like, there was very, very distinct, like, uh subcultures like yeah when i went to school and oh, it's absolutely. not like they still don't exist or anything like that but like i see a lot of kids walking around now it's like i got the school right across the street from our apartment and like i don't really see that same kind of like uh um, i stained that that's those same kind of groups like you used to you know what i mean like where the metalhead kids hung out with the metalhead kids and like you can tell who all the nerdy kids are because they were the only kids wearing, like, a superhero shirt to school. You know, like, that kind of stuff. Um, are you going to go cramp? No, I'm going to keep no, the box. No, yeah, no, yeah. No. I figured it Lilith, you gotta. Hey, damage and HP up. Not hey, uh, so I've got a lot. This is, like, if I had any skill, yeah. I'd be like, you know, I don't want to sandbag it, but this is a one run, you know. Like, yeah. oh, I don't know. <laughs> but since I suck, I can't guarantee it. I'll wait till I get... Yeah, get some bombs. Whoa! Hi. It's like a blood fountain. Wow, that is really gross imagery. Thank you. You're, well, that's what it looked like. There we go. A bomb and a black heart. And a key. Uh, I think I need one more bomb. But yeah, like, so I didn't really see it, so I went looking up, but I'm like, hey, you know, I forget who I was talking to. Like, I think I looked it up online. Uh, it was like, you know... Are like the whole like teenager subculture thing kind of dead? Because I never really oh. see it anymore. And somebody actually like sent me this really interesting article 
I'm and listening. it was basically talking about how now that we have the internet, the way people embrace their interests and in, like subcultures has kind of changed. Okay. Because like before, like if you were into punk music, you usually got into it. You probably already knew one or two people that were already into it too. Mm-hmm. And wow, you are getting some good stuff okay. here. Okay, this isn't the best use of Viera, but I'm gonna use it. That you got some good stuff. I mean, there. I got some good stuff. There was a dime up here, so I have plenty of money. I'm assuming that basically counts for two items that I'm gonna be able to buy from a shop. Assuming yeah, that thirty nine, I would doesn't hope so. show up in both shops. Fair enough. Oh, fucking fire. Um, uh, but anyway. But, like, I'm before it, but if you got into, like, punk and you wanted to find other punks, you had to f you had to go somewhere and find them. Like you had Oh, to yeah, you had to, like, know where to go. There was, like, a bar they all hung out. Yeah, or you had to go to, like, the vinyl shop on the other side of town and find the dude with a yeah, battle now jacket. Yeah, you can just... Google it. Google it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And you find, like, you can just find a forum to talk to people about it. You can find, like, you're probably going to talk to, like, a lot more people now about a particular topic that just you like. So there's a lot more blending and mixing from what there used to be before, where it's like, it's kind of like people, will, they don't really, really feel... Holy shit. Yeah, they don't really feel the need to have like, well, I don't have to dress fully punk because I already get my satisfaction already, so to speak. But it's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get like a battle jacket, but I'll also wear it with my Captain America t-shirt because I like both things. And it's not like I have to impress the punk kids at school because yeah. I've seen their Facebook page and they don't like any good bands. But there has been other things that have kind of changed too. I mean, like, technically we're part of, like, the YouTuber, like, subculture that's kind of oh, popped yeah. up. Oh, yeah, I don't really think about that. Me neither. I mean, it's not like we don't really talk to a lot of other YouTubers or anything like that. Like, we, we talk on the subreddit every now and then and... We've started to engage the Darkest Dungeon uh, fandom in a couple of places. Yeah, I mean, that's more because I'm playing the game and I want to get better at it. Yeah. But I'm not really, like, paying attention. Well, I pay attention because I like some of the fan stuff. Like, I like the, the, like the little comics and fan art that people make and so on and so forth. But then again, I like that with pretty much every fandom. Like, once I get into something, I kind of want to see what the fans are doing and saying about it and seeing what the wow. community's all about. That's that cool. was stupid easy. Little gish. All right, I gotta take it. I hope it doesn't kill me. Doesn't look like it. I'm not gonna keep it though, but it's one towards the guppy transformation. Gotcha, Got yeah. me some more flies. All right, please have a decent amount of health. Okay, I hate two floors in a row. I'm gonna die on this floor. I already know it. Because Curse of the Unknown, I have, don't have any idea what my health is for two floors in a row. Might want to kill this this dude as soon as possible. That is the plan. All right, so there's some health. Still can't pick those up. That's pretty good. That, that Means, drives uh, me nuts with the red hearts. I hate not being able to pick up an item. Oh, really? It drives me absolutely batshit. Like, whenever I see you just pushing totally it around on the floor... <laughs> I'm like, whatever. Yeah, like, you're just like, what? It's just, this is a feature of the game, and I'm like, it's there! <laughs> it drives me nuts. I'd rather it just not be there. All right. Especially since it seems like out of all the items, it's the one that technically is one of the most important, but yeah. it gets ignored the most. What is that? A, a the butt? leech? Looks like a butt plug, though, right? Mm -hmm. Holy shit, a second one. I don't know if that worked, but... That okay, looks like a butt plug. You're not gonna pick it up? The butt plug? It's yeah. called the leech. I, I The louse. It's a tick. I don't know what it does. I know what petrified poop does, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay. <laughs> that is honestly my reasoning. Fair enough. Okay, There's, I yeah. can really do without the screams. It, is that what it is? They're screaming? It sounds like a scream. Well, baby's screaming. Great. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Fuck. Greed. <laughs> Not a fan, I take it. Not your favorite humunculus? Oh, that's really funny. Christy and I were watching uh, Full Metal Alchemist last night. Fucking rad. Good show. Alright. This... What brought that on? Like her newfound love of steampunk? 
No, uh, I just thought it's one of my favorite shows, and so good point. It is a damn good show, and so I just started watching it. I just had it's on uh, Netflix, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna watch this. Which one are you watching, the original or Brotherhood? The original. Gotcha. I actually like it better. You know what? I'm kind of with you on that one. Uh, Brotherhood was okay, but I didn't like the second half of it. Yeah, the set and which is which is weird because the second half of the original, yeah, is. Uh, it gets better. Like, once they introduce Scar, yeah. he's, he's, like, the best freaking character. Oh, I loved Scar. Like, when I first started, like, watching it, like, I got really into him. Because I'm like, what I got him as a villain, he actually felt like he wasn't just a villain for just go. this, you needed a villain. Yeah, absolutely. Like, his motivation was like, yep, get it. Totally, yeah, no, they all brought it on themselves, yeah. Absolutely. Like, that's kind of the problem that I'm having uh, with the new Gundam show. Like, it's kind of, like, getting on my nerves. What's that one called? Uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans, or Tekadin. I'm so stupid. I bought this ladder so I wouldn't get hit by that. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, but, yeah, it's just kind of, like, a lot of the, the story setup just kind of feels like they were kind of going off the Gundam checklist. And so it's, like, the villain in it, the villains in it just kind of feel like well, we need a villains because, you know, Gundams have to fight something. Like, they don't... The villains don't seem all that villainous. Y oh, you know? really? Yeah, they, they, they have... Like, it's basically like... They're the... The faction in control after... Like, some huge-ass war that happened years and years ago. And it's like, all right, these are the military police, and after all this time, they're kind of corrupt, so you get to fight oh, them without... the military's corrupt, wow. Yeah, I know, right? Like, once again, like, the Gundam checklist. And so it's like, but they haven't done that much in this show. Like, they've talked about how they're bad, and they're kind of douchey, but I'm still not like, yeah, these guys have got to go... They're not, it's not so like... This won't kill me. How do I... You know, it's like, um... It's one of those examples that, like, people talk about with, like, Star Wars. Oh! My God! Every time. Three floors in a row? It does suck. Oh, my God. I have no idea how much health I have. Do you have another... Yeah, I got Sack Dagger as an orbital. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? Fuck this. You got the mantle. Why am I moving? Stop moving. Yeah, you're just moving... Oh, so I died! Are you kidding me? Why was I moving? Oh, I don't know, but that's... I stopped moving so that I... So Nod Leaf would pop up, and then they'd just rush me down and die from the dagger. That sucks. Oh. That was a real... Okay, this was a 100% winnable seed. Absolutely. It's a good one. Play it. Sorry, I cut you off by losing. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off by losing. It's all right. I'm a little it's salty. I need to get better. Uh, I'm a little rusty. I haven't played in a couple of days. Uh, but you know what? That was I was having a lot of fun. I yeah. So until, it was I. until I died. I was actually really enjoying that. Uh, the curse of the unknown three three floors in a row sucked. But you know what? That's life. That's life in Isaac, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's just life. Like, some days you're on top of the world, and other days you get Curse of the Unknown. <laughs> and, you know, you All don't right. know what's going on with your future. Your parents don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, I'll get something done with Lilith. Fair enough. All right. Well, if you enjoyed it, you know, leave us a like. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, folks.